What's up, Rock Nation? Buck Primo here with a tech tip. This is a very important tech tip. This is replacing your PLC battery. In the manual that comes with the press, it tells you to do this every two years. So if you're using your machine a lot, two years, yes, that might be good. You're gonna get a little message that'll pop up on your display that says PLC battery requires replacement. This is a CR2032 battery. You can get this battery at 7-Eleven, Home Depot, you name it, it's just a standard watch battery, CR2032. The thing about it is if you're not using your press every single day, this battery will not last two years. Based on your printing and how often you turn the machine on will dictate when you need to replace this battery. So I'm gonna go over the couple different places where you'll find this battery located and what models you'll need to do this on because not all models will require this. So let's go ahead and dive into this. Allen Keys, CR2032. Again, this is on an M model. Uh, this will be the same for a P10 or a P8 M model. Down here to the right of the load unload, this is the door with the key. You've got electrical hazard. Make sure that you're not using a screwdriver and pushing around in there, but you're gonna unlock the door with power on. That's very, very important is we need to make sure that we have power on when we're replacing this battery. All right, so once you open the door, you're gonna see your PLC board. I've got my cards here, blue cards, orange plugs. Just to the left of that is a blue cap, okay? This has a battery run halt and air light on it. Right now you can see because I've got power on, we always have power on when we're replacing this battery. I can see that the run light's on. I'm just gonna push up on this cap and I'm gonna lift it up, okay? Now that I have it lifted up, you're gonna see that there's a kind of like a blue card here. I'm gonna pull that card out. Again, power on, okay? Right there, you can see my CR2032 battery. Make sure that you replace it the same direction, okay? So face up, right? So you're able to read the battery. And then once you replace the battery, just go ahead and push that guy back in. Once that's in, you can close your cap. To not be down, I would replace this battery again every single year. All right, so even though this is an M model, I'm gonna tell you guys where on an XL you will find your PLC battery. It's gonna be a one piece. So you're gonna end up removing a 2.5 millimeter Allen from both sides. Here I have a fuse block, but you will not find a fuse block here. Your fuse block for the print heads is gonna be located over here, but you're gonna find your PLC board right here, and you don't really even need to do anything. Your battery is gonna be located uh, about right here. You'll pop the cap open, same thing. Power on, pop the cap open, pull the little slot out, replace the battery, put it back in, put the cover on. Now you're good for another year, two years again depending on when, how often you use the machine is when you'll need to replace the battery. On some of the ovals, you're gonna find an electrical cabinet door. You're gonna open that up. You'll see your PLC board with those cards and then the little blue cap. You're gonna pop that open and then replace the battery. If this goes dead, we have to reprogram your PLC board, which will require a PC laptop, a special cable we have to plug in. We remote into the laptop do our thing, and then now you're back up and printing. We do not want you guys to be down. Replace this battery, it does not cost a lot. It's very quick to perform this maintenance. Real quick, this is what a BR automation is gonna look like. So if you have this system, if your display looks like this, you do not have a PLC battery to replace. If you have any questions, please contact support at support at rock.us. Get a hold of one of our support technicians. They'll be able to walk you through this. We have videos online. This video should tell you exactly what you need to do. We are here if you have any questions, please let us know. Until then, rock out. Don't let your PLC battery die.